Okay, so again, we've got like a, a receiving exercise here, again, which is designed to make you a little bit tired. So we've got a box here. All that's gonna happen, Jammer's gonna run to a cone on one of the corners. He's gonna sprint in there, touch the cone, then go back and Tom's gonna pass the ball. He's gonna trap, pass it back, move to another cone. Again, this has gotta be a sprint. Trap, pass, see how Tom's varying up the pass. Okay, we wanna do 10 of these. Okay, before we, yeah. By the end, it should it should actually you should be feeling that really in your core and your quads. Right, and the idea is to keep the, the, the trap and the pass consistent. Again, you see how the trap again jammers jammers right behind the ball, so he gets down the eye line of the ball, and his feet are always moving. Okay. So an, up, so an upgrade on these um, on on this exercise is to obviously change the cone so that we have different colour. Now the the passer is going to shout the colour of the cone to Jammer and Jammer's going to sprint there and get and, 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 um, and move back to the middle. Okay, again, it's very important that Jammer receives down the, down the line of the ball, with, with, with receiving it with, in between his feet, so he can actually trap it and pass it back. Okay, let's go, boys. See there as he got tired there was a bit of a budget pass. <laughs> and good. Okay, so the last stage of this is to now um, again we keep the calling, so Tom's gonna call the colour. The jammer's actually gonna trap and move with the ball around the cone that Tom has called. Okay, again we have to make sure that we're nice and low in that box, we trap it in line, you know, so our eyes are down the line of the ball, and we trap and sprint around the cone and pass the ball back to Tom. Okay, let's go. See how Jammer's trapping out in front of him so he can actually you know, trap the ball quicker. See there, he let the ball roll, roll across his body. 